I brought a decent guy. Oh. I don't know who's who, though. <laughs> it's pretty much the same thing right now. Uh, we are going to go ahead and continue the theme of reviewing maple beers together. Maple bombs. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. I thought the Great Notion was good. A lot of people so said I. it wasn't it, as good. It was comments. old. It was old. Yeah. And it still had maple, which but morning wood. defies all the stuff you're going to... Yeah, morning wood. Jeez. And the KBBS lottery just oh, went yes. live. Don't enter, any of you, unless Assassin. you live in the area. Yeah. Fuck off. No. Just kidding. <laughs> um, why does it say Blyes on the set? I don't know. E-L-I-S. This is Michigan Maple Jesus, Evil Twin Brewing Company. I believe they worked with Dark Horse Brewing to yeah, Marshall, get the barrels for this. Right there. Yeah, so basically what I understand about this beer is it is bourbon barrels that were filled in aged maple syrup first and nice. then beer. Gotcha. So I guess we'll see. Was that something Dark Horse did with their bourbon barrels? They, yeah. They put they did maple that. in it? Yeah, they okay. did that with Plead the Fifth, I think. Holy gotcha. shit. That looks bomb.com. I'm a poor judge of a half a glass. Go for it. Oh, man. No, that's fine. Oh, you. Um, I think it says 12% on the front of the glass. Nathan from behind the bar providing the glassware um, actually went, you know, he, he did a review on this. And he gave it, I want to say a 98, and Joe gave it Hunnets. Those are the only two videos I've seen on this beer. But I wonder if Bly's is the barrel supplier. Because, like, like Bly's Barley Wine Maybe. from Dry Dock... Uh, brewing these certain barrels. I don't know. I have no idea. I know nothing about it. It doesn't say much. Um, so did it's they, hard to get. They must. They must have brewed it at Dark Horse must in have. Marshall. Yep. Which is uh, in Michigan, my hometown, yep. or home state, I should say. Yeah. So I'm you, excited for yeah. a little hometown flavor here. You know, if anything, if it imparts <clears throat> character like CBS. CBS is Founders Big um, Coffee Maybe. Imperial Stout. Yeah. Aged in maple bourbon barrels yep. that held maple syrup on. So, um, cool label, seven ninety nine. Pretty easy to get, actually. Well, not easy to get. I mean, um, there were one bottle limit, and they were flying. Out. I don't think the South Minneapolis. Yeah, I don't think they got it, man, because no one's tweeting about it. So. Well, well, here we are. We got one. That's all that matters. And it is sticky. Um, there are icky. legs on the side of Look that. Look at that. Holy stick. shit! Yeah, that is. <laughs> that reminds me of a top wing beer. No? Yes, it does. You know, nice. Like oily residue coating the glass. Yeah. No, really, no head to speak of. Dark yeah. head. Once you do get it going a little bit. Yeah. Um, I pulled this one out about ten minutes when you said you were coming up. Gotcha. I pulled it out. So it's I don't know probably fifty two ish, fifty three. Let's go ahead and smell it. All right. Uh, it smells like a big ass Russian Imperial Stout first. Boozy. Yeah, really boozy. Dark fruits, tons and tons of chocolate. I would say chocolate and booze. Yeah. Little, oak. little, it's like brown sugar sweetness. Yeah, molasses, molasses. black strap molasses. Yeah. yeah, for sure. I'm not picking up any maple. I get none. Like I get none. no maple. Absolutely zilch. And which is not what I want in no. my maple beer. No, I want it to explode <laughs> yeah. out of the glass. I mean, maybe there is vanilla, that like um, burnt vanilla, vanilla is, is, maple is, caramel yeah. note. I don't know. Are we getting tricked? We're smelling maple and. We're, Getting tricked into thinking it's something else. Maybe I don't like know. Like that caramelized vanilla right. sugar. Yeah, creme there's, brulee. There's definitely like that brown it's, sugar. It smells sweet, but it doesn't smell overpowering. It no. smells boozy as fuck. It does. All I, right. I see what Nate's talking about. Let's taste it. Cheers. Cheers. That's disappointing. Yeah. That's like. No maple, whatever. There's no um, back end, way back end. Yeah, you're right. Just that it it, it doesn't taste like good maple syrup though. No, it kind of tastes like an Aunt Jemima's in a way. Yeah, like it does. A, it, it's just a really sugary maple, um, artificial. Yeah, so I guess what I'm trying Fake. to say. Fake. It's it's sweet too, mm -hmm. which I don't mind sweet stouts. No, I don't either. There's this like really um, something just lingering. What is that, like, a thousand layer cake called? Baklava? You get, like, the caramelized top of baklava. And yeah. This, um, that, like, sugary drizzle on it. I don't know. Um, There's also... the So the bourbon is there, mm -hmm. which I was kind of surprised. 
You know, I didn't know yeah. it'd be that much. It's big barrel. There's more barrel than maple, which I would say big boozy barrel. Yeah. Not not like a good barrel. Right. Um not to say it's bad. No. Um, I'm not saying that, but um I like those like toasty coconut notes <clears throat> and the yeah. vanilla notes that the barrel imparts. This right. is imparting a lot more booze. Um It's weird. It is. In my opinion, they could have just called it. Well, my finger's too damn big. Michigan Jesus. Michigan Jesus. Yeah, that's fair. You know. Yeah. Hmm. I'm disappointed. I like wonder, extremely disappointed. I wonder if this needs to get like room temp. Remember how bad Street Morning Delight was. Yeah, but Mike didn't brew that batch of Morning Delight. I know, was, but that maple. That came makes out. sense, though. The maple did come out when yeah. it was sitting out in the sun. It did. It did. So you're not really wrong there. I mean, I, I taste like there could be that artificial maple kind of hiding, but I, I think there's so much booze and big imperial stout covering it. Right. It's like they almost didn't use, like, okay, they aged it in barrels that held maple syrup. Well, clearly they didn't age it long enough. And or there probably should have been a maple syrup addition if you Maybe. wanted it to shine. Yeah. Um, you know, but reports are all over the place. People love this. I mean, Joe gave it a punnets. I know. Um, for an Imperial Stout, Asian Bourbon Barrels, as far as that goes, I mean, it's pretty good. It's good, not great, right? Yeah, I, I, mean, I, I don't really see any hype behind no, it. No, I don't see why... Like, Barrel Age 1050 is better than this. And yeah, and I thought that was not so great, but good. Yeah, I mean, good. Yeah. You had it twice, you said it was yeah. better the second time. Better the second time. I have a can, actually. It's the stovepipe? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I, I guess I'm just so let down. Yeah, you know, uh, to go back to the Morning Wood video, I think it was, mm. when we talked about maple being in a beer name, yeah. and you don't get it, yep. and how pissed off I get, <laughs> because I love maple. I, I want know. maple. I know. All the maple. When we had that maple night, this whole place smelled like breakfast. It, it smelled did. Like maple. My wife walked in and said, did you guys make like <laughs> yeah. maple sausage or something? I and went home, and I was laying in bed, and my mustache smelled yeah. like maple my syrup. My hand, I had spilled some <laughs> of the crawler on my hand. It literally smelled like maple after a shower. And, I'm and, not even kidding. And we're going to have none of that from this. No. And... It's... That to me, if, if it didn't say maple, I wouldn't be disappointed. Yeah, it says maple on it. Yeah, and if anything, I would. I'm think gonna call them out on it. Yeah, but, it's you know, bullshit. To be honest, it, it's still a it's hype. Evil it's, twin barrel aged stouts. It's 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 good, not great. Yeah, you know, I'm a double barrel Jesus I, guy. That's yeah, really good no, beer. I agree. I agree, and I don't I, I don't want to demean this beer and mm -mm. take anything away from it. It it is good. It is yes. better than ninety percent of the barrel aged totally. stouts that come out of a local brewery. Mm -hmm. Um. It's better than um, Barrel Age Plead the Fifth, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I haven't had that beer in a while. I should try to get some more of that. <clears throat> it's really sweet, though. Um, I don't know. If I had to grade it, I think I'd give it something like a 93. I was going 92 yeah. in my I, head. I think there is some big flaws with this beer. I think there's booze. It, no balance. And then it's there's just no maple. Is that booze just killing everything? Uh, must. You know, just like... I a, don't know. I'm, I, like, I'm not enjoying it. Yeah. Um, uh, I mean, I'll dr I'm going to drink it. Oh, fuck I'll yeah. I'm going to drink it. Yeah. And I think it's definitely, like I said, better than a lot of other efforts that come right. out. Um, so this is 8 bucks. So that'd be a $32 quad. Uh, that turns me off, honestly. But I know Evil Twin beers command a big price, especially Barrel Age. Yeah, I actually thought this was sort of cheap when I picked it up. Yeah, yeah, I thought I was going to pay $13.99. I was prepared to pay it. Gotcha. I was prepared to pay a dollar an ounce because everything <clears> I had read and watching Joe's reviews about maple. and yeah. I mean, he didn't, he didn't scream, oh my God, it smells like maple. But the same token, I was just like, okay, I got some hype. Somebody rated it hundreds? And I'm not saying, Joe, you might have had a completely different bottle than we are. But yeah, this is... Uh... Yeah. I'm struggling with the maple. You know? Even for a barrel aged out, though, it's starting to show some thinness as it warms up. It is. Um, the sweetness and the booze just takes away, like, all that mouthfeel. I'm getting, like, that oily, sweet character, and then some booze, and then chocolate, and then, then it's gone. There's a... There's a... Like... There's, like, a homebrew-esque barrel. Yeah. Yeah. Like they use cubes. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of like, like my style. When we do cubes in a, way. Yeah. In a, in a homebrew, and uh, I'm that sounds terrible, but no, it I don't does, know how it, to describe that note. You know, I just can't believe a beer is this hot. 
out the gate it is. after sitting in a bourbon barrel filled with maple syrup. So <laughs> it's like the bourbon came out, the maple went in, the maple left, the beer went in, the beer came out. So it's technically a second use barrel and it's imparting this much heat. Right. And oak. I mean, and oak, yeah. Some fucking tannic beer. is yeah. all hell. Uh, I think I'm going to drop my score on video. I think I'm going to go an 89. I think it's a B plus level effort, and I think they cashed in on the maple hype, and I think that's bullshit. Yeah, I, uh, I, I'm, I'm honestly hoping this is just a weird bottle. Mm-hmm. I don't know because it, this bottle should not say maple. Nope, in my opinion, not at all. You, I, I barely tell you that it's there. If, it's if it's it kind of like on. it's kind of like my wedding beer. The, At uh, first, the maple Nepal was there. Yeah, yeah, it's gone now completely. So how old is this? I don't know. There's no know, date on it. I don't it. know if they date or not. I'm not There's sure. There's no date on it that I can see. It'd be nice to know how old this is. It took forever to get here. It did. We're like one of the last to review. Yeah, so. I saw Instagram posts. Yeah. I think September. Month, two months. Maybe yeah. maybe early October. And so maybe just it's just it. completely faded off. Could Who knows? Be. Well, either way, it's been another fun maple beer review. It's fun to try all <laughs> these different beers even though we kind of shit on it. But um, it is what it is. There's a lot of hype I'm to set, it. Should we just settle out a 90? Yeah, I say A minus. Yeah. That's a lot of bad talk for an A minus. That being said, I still love Evil Twin. Yeah, we got a fun beer coming up for you mm-hmm. here in a minute. Cheers. Cheers.